Hi there, I'm Justin Patton, I'm Senior Curator at Christchurch Art Gallery and I'm standing here in post Quake Christchurch on Worcester Boulevard in the heart of the city. And it's a very good place to stand if you want to get a handle on the place of art and public art in post Quake Christchurch. Now on February 22 when the big earthquake occurred, art took a real hiding along this, the central cultural axis of the city. Three major statues fell down on the boulevard. In Cathedral Square, the godly statue lay face planted on the pavement beside the river. The statue of the explorer and discoverer, Sir Robert Falcon Scott, also lay deposed. And at this end of the boulevard, in front of Canterbury Museum, the statue of founding father Sir William Rolleston lay on the pavement with his head broken right off. So it's been a tough time for public art in Christchurch since the quake, and we might plausibly call the boulevard the boulevard of broken art. Now, as I stand here and I look across the road, I can see the Christchurch Art Gallery. And as many of you will know, the Christchurch Art Gallery is still closed. We're going to be closed for some time. We're down, but we're not out. We are making art happen, and it's happening out in the wider city. And this boulevard is one of the places it's happening. From where I stand, I can see Jehoon Lee's big backlit billboard on a perner. I can see Andre Hamer's work on our water feature. Uh, I can walk up and around the corner and see Julia Morrison's billboard, I can see Matt Akehurst's You Are Here signpost sculpture. But at the moment I'm standing in front of the side of a work which is not playing at the moment. If you want to come and see it, you're going to have to come back at night when it's dark and you will discover it in the window of this slightly haunted, slightly down at heel looking house behind me. Now, if you do come into the city at night, almost the first thing you will notice is that there is no one around. Christchurch at night is something of a ghost town, so it seemed very appropriate that we try and activate this haunted house-like space behind me. And the artist who has activated it is Ronnie Van Hout. And as you stroll down the boulevard at night, what you will see in that window is the face, the fazog of Ronnie Van Hout, projected at a massive scale internally and he is peering down at the boulevard as if looking for people, as if looking to see who is out and about in Christchurch of a post-quake evening. And the longer you look, the more maniacal Ronnie appears and the source of that uh, intensity is revealed a few moments later when he opens his mouth and out climbs another smaller Ronnie, the kind of mini-me. Um, one of these substitutes or alter egos that turn up so often in Ronnie's work. Now when people talk about Ronnie's art, they often say that it's about the self, it's about his, uh, his inner life, it's about what it is to have and be a self in the 21st century, you know, who exactly do we think we are? But what I like about the work that Ronnie's created for this haunted house space is that it's also about the social world, because when that second Ronnie steps out of the first Ronnie's mouth, he steps up to the window and looks out over the boulevard as if trying to find out who is out and about, who is the audience for public art in Christchurch at the moment.